NMSU athletics came to a halt last March due to the COVID-19 pandemic. With all sports being delayed to the spring season, athletic director Mario Mocha says the department has been working hard to ensure safety for practice and competition. You know, at the time we figured, hey, we hope things would get better. It would allow our student athletes to do what we promised them to do, practice and have the ability to compete. So as we move into the spring, you know, we have a unique situation where virtually all of our sports will be playing at the same time. You know, that never happens. NMSU athletes were originally not allowed to practice in Las Cruces due to the state of New Mexico's COVID-19 restrictions. This forced men and women's basketball to spend nine weeks in Arizona for practice and games. The teams were able to return to New Mexico on January 20th due to amendments in the COVID restrictions. We just recently received the okay to be able to practice um, in Las Cruces um, and compete uh, outside of the state and not have to quarantine when we come back. Those were huge, but now you know we have to find venues outside of the state to, to compete in. Even though the teams can't compete at home, the news of being able to return to the Pan American Center was enough for the Aggies, according to women's basketball head coach Brooke Atkinson. I mean, we'll just take anything just to be able to sleep at home, you know, in our own beds and practice, you know, in the comforts of the Pan Am or our practice gym. Like we were super excited. We just didn't know when it was going to happen. And um, it was our actual off day when we found out. And I mean, we were we were so excited. We we couldn't get back soon enough. Players like Aaliyah Prince were also ready to come back to Las Cruces. Everyone was excited that we get to come back home. Like, uh, just the idea of being away from home wasn't wasn't setting right with us and being out of our comfort zone. That was a big thing. There were many uncertainties and obstacles during the past few months, according to men's basketball head coach Chris Jans. Uh, now that we're in the midst of it, it it's all came true. You know, we've had postponements and cancellations left and right. So you know, we've had more than our fair share of that. We're hoping for better days ahead. The Aggies are set to play their home games at Eastwood High School in El Paso. El Paso is a preferred location for the Aggies, says Jans. Um, you know, being 45, 50 minutes rather than five or six hours is uh, going to be uh, much, much more desirable for us to play um, our home games in our WAC schedule of the remaining season. Aggies trail, Rice for the win. He banked it in! With the absence of a band, fans, and the overall NMSU spirit, Jan says that the Aggies are definitely missing what makes the Pan American Center so special. Just that, that feeling of a home game uh, in the Pan Am and knowing that we've got our sixth man behind us and we've had so much success on that floor. We definitely miss having that support and that six man and that jet feel of, of a college basketball home game in Las Cruces and uh, we definitely miss it. The season may look different, but Atkinson says that the Aggies are making the most out of every moment given to them. Anytime that you're able to practice, you gotta, you gotta get the best out of it because you just don't know if you know, you're gonna be paused um, because of a COVID related issue, whether it's your own team or whether it's because you played somebody else. So I think if anything, this has just really made us focus on, on the moment. You can't look too far ahead. You can't even look a couple hours ahead because you just don't really know. The Aggies will continue to persevere through this unprecedented time. Best of luck to all teams this season. Go Aggies. For KRWG Public Media, I'm Sarah Rodriguez.